All right, what's going on guys? I am bringing you a Black Ops 3 video today, a little bit of Black Ops 3 news. I'm trying not to do too many of these videos because I know everyone is pushing these out, but these were two pieces of information that I thought were pretty important. I actually want to give an opinion on them, not just give you the news. So if you haven't heard already, there is going to be no skill-based matchmaking in Black Ops 3. And also the VSAT is returning. Thank you, Vonderhaar. So let's first talk about skill-based matchmaking. So T. Martin said that he talked to the developers and they're going to be bringing back the same level of skill based matchmaking that was in black ops 2 so if you don't remember back in black ops 2 now they say it's been in every cod i don't know maybe it has but it was very very noticeable in black ops 2 that was where reverse boosting first started when black ops 2 came out people started reverse boosting they used to like leave their accounts and sharpshooter overnight and stuff and just have a shit spm that was where the whole reverse boosting skill based matchmaking thing really came around and we complained and complained and complained to Treyarch and they eventually fixed it and toned it down or patched it or whatever they did to make it at the level it is today where it's not really noticeable if there is still, still skill based matchmaking in Black Ops 2. I don't really notice it. I mean I find a, a wide variety of lobbies. I find noobs all the time. Sometimes I find tryhards. Sometimes I find like decent people. Like I don't really know if skill based matchmaking is in Black Ops 2 but if it is it's done correctly. So that's going to be returning in Black Ops 3 which is awesome. Everyone pretty much hates AW pubs because because of skill based matchmaking so Bonahar is the best developer man he listens to us he's not a retard he doesn't just ignore what everyone says and just does his own thing he listens to what everyone says and he knows what the popular opinion is and he tries to cater to that that's why Treyarch usually makes the better game so that being said part two the VSAT is back so let me put this VSAT screenshot on the screen for you so this guy named Mason he tweets Vondar he says I pre-ordered Black Ops 3 for the PS4 Xbox One and would like to ask if you can confirm the return of the orbital VSAT Blackbird Vondar responds yes and no core functionality yes but you can fight back against it challenging but possible so let's break that down basically he's saying that it is going to come back but there is going to be some sort of counter to the vsat which obviously in the past the only counter to it was really just calling in a counter uav which a lot of people don't really run counter uav and even if they did call it in you can just shoot it down so it wasn't really too serious now he says challenging but possible so what that makes me think is that there's gonna be maybe some sort of anti vsat kill streak that you know probably costs around the same amount of score as a vsat the fact that he said challenging gives me a lot of hope because if he would have just said you can counter it that's that's kind of shitty but think about the situations where you get a vsat usually when you get a vsat you're playing against like bad players so they're probably not even going to be able to complete this challenging task or whatever to counter the VSAT anyway. So I don't think the counter for the VSAT is going to be a big deal, but we'll have to wait and see. But at least some sort of VSAT is coming back. That's awesome. That literally makes the pub experience a million times better because you don't die from stupid shit. So that's awesome. So basically, with that being said, I mean, pubs for Black Ops 3 are looking very good. It looks like it will be the return of a fun pub game. So I don't know. I'm just going to state my opinion here. I don't You guys may have to disagree or whatever. But in my opinion, the last two years for Call of Duty with Advanced Warfare and Ghosts were not good public match games. Competitive never really has to worry about a game. Competitive is always decent to good to great. You know, even though Ghost was a shitty game or whatever, competitive was fine. Like, you, you still play competitive. It wasn't that big of a deal. Even though Advanced Warfare pubs are annoying as fuck and shitty, competitive is awesome. And the thing about Black Ops 2 is, Black Ops 2 competitive was amazing, and so was pubs. That's what made Black Ops 2 a great game. The way I play pubs, like, I don't I don't take pubs serious anymore. Like, that has long passed. When I want competition, I play GBs, I play some sort of competitive, I'll play league play, I just play something, like, competitive to get my competition. And then I play pubs to chill, man. Like, and AW just took that away from me. I'll give you a perfect example. When I do play AW, I usually only play GBs or ranked play. I don't ever play pubs. You know, I'll get on and we'll go, we'll go get a match for GBs. I'll go into a pub to, you know, just chill and warm up. And I'll end up playing better kids in the pub match than I'm playing in the GB. It's really annoying, especially for people that don't take pubs serious. I'm sure there's people out there, maybe they're even watching this video, that, you know, you guys like skill-based matchmaking. You like playing competition in pubs I don't know why but do your thing that's you but for me personally whenever I want a challenge like I'll, I play GBs I don't play pubs for a challenge that's that's not what I like doing I don't, they're very little skill gap in pubs whereas in GB 
Bs, there is a decent skill gap in, you know, in competitive. So, anyways, that's pretty much it. That's my thoughts on it. So, hopefully, pubs are going to be great in Black Ops 3, and that will really help Call of Duty, and that will really help YouTube. It'll help everything if pubs are good, man. That, it really will. So, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave your opinions down below. Be sure to leave a like rating if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're not already. Follow me on Twitter. Links in the description down below. Other than that, have a good day, and peace out.